it's a Saturday here in Chapel Hill and we have a football game today and it's UNC versus Syracuse. And no one's allowed into this football game at all. Like, no visitors at all, no parents of the players or anything. And I mean, last year I went to like almost all the football games and did videos about them. And I mean, since I can't get into this one, I'm just sort of gonna go around the stadium and see like, you know, if there's any way I could look into the stadium or if I could get any shots or anything. I mean, we're just gonna go up there and see what's up. But first we're gonna get some lunch. All right, so we got a toasted sandwich, some water, uh, broccoli, corn, rice, and chicken. So I finished up eating and honestly, it wasn't a good meal. Like, I know dining is like understaffed and everything and everything has to be served by them there's no self-serve anymore but like the rice was undercooked the broccoli was undercooked it was cold on the inside but like it's so weird now because like all around here it's like completely empty like not a soul has walked through here yet like the stadium is like so loud and they have like fake cheering sounds and everything and you can't like see much, like that's the, the most I can get of the stadium. And like right there, there's the, the South Tunnel and like you can go straight through there and it leads straight onto the field. But like there's a guy that's there like checking credentials and everything. So there's no way to get into the stadium at all. All the gates are like locked right here too. Like you can go get a good view of the stadium and like the scoreboard and everything from here, but you can't see the field at all. And here's the, the main entrance. That gate is completely locked. They got like some, some safety guidelines right there, even though there's no fans here. But if you can see all the way up there, there are a lot of statisticians like taking the stats of everything. Maybe that's also broadcasting, I'm not sure. Same thing over here at gate three, like, I can see all the people that are up there and all that, but I can't actually see the field whatsoever. I'll be honest though, this is the most alive I've felt campus um, since move-in day. And th that's with just like artificial sounds and everything. And the bell tower. The bell tower is actually working now. So right now we're here at the, the Stone Center and my thought is that I'm going to go up to this parking deck right here and get on the top of it like over here in this area and then maybe I'll be able to see over the stadium that's right here. All right, here we go with the elevator. Um, oh, I'm starting to be able to see into the building. I think that's going to work. Part. actually did it like this is the actual spot to see the game Look at that. I can't believe that this actually worked and it's a great view after the infraction ball spot at the 19 yard line the only thing that's in the way is this tree right here but, like they're gonna kick a field goal now That is like the one massive problem is I can't really see what's going on behind those trees. Like the entire game right now is happening behind those trees. I can't see it. Actually, I wonder if I move on down. Uh, that's a bit better. Hopefully all the touchdowns happen down here. Also, what happened to that building? 
Like what happened to it? And can't see him. <laughs> now it's complete. Pass is complete to number eight, Michael Carter. First down. Gain of seven on the play. First down, Todd. Heels. That's <laughs> literally the only person that can say it now. And now I can't see the game at all. It is definitely really windy. It's like supposed to like storm today. So I brought my umbrella just in case like it starts raining on us. Look at that horizon back in there. So that was the first half, we're up 7-3. A bunch more people started coming up here and, and sitting in that area and then parking staff came up and said you know you guys got to go and so with the fourth quarter starting now I'm just on my way out take a look at this demolition over here like, So that is the first and last time I get to do that. Um, you know, I'm I'm probably gonna message UNC Athletics or something, send them an email, and ask them if like I can come into the game maybe and record or something, because like it it astonishes me that six months of planning and they couldn't figure out some way with a massive stadium to have some amount of fans or something like you saw how many seats were just completely empty like people could be social distancing 20 feet apart and you could still have a ton of fans in that stadium it's a huge missed opportunity for fans huge missed opportunity financially so I'm just gonna head back to the dorm now and maybe I can catch like the last few minutes of the game on my TV. Like I still can't stop thinking about, you know, uh, how many seats are open and like families of these players can't even come watch. And I don't know how UNC like messed that up. Like how did they have such a good plan for everyone to come back and then they messed that up but for something as easy as a football game, they can't come up with a plan. But there is a chance we get some games in October in person, just because I've seen like, you know, there's job listings that they need for the stadium in October for when they reopen. So we'll see what happens there. But campus continues to stay just completely empty. I can go all the way around. 
literally no one here. Bell tower is still here, and hopefully it gets lit up tonight. Like I see some like yellow things right there, so maybe they're like setting up for lights. Maybe. Never mind, the game's over. But man, did we kill them in the fourth? Twenty-one points scored in the fourth quarter. That is three touchdowns. It's a shame I had to, to miss that, but whatever. That was a nice attempt to at least try to watch some UNC football. Um. I guess next time I'll try to be able to get to watch it is probably going to be October when they start trying to let people in. We'll just have to see then.